Hello everyone, uh, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you how to use SQL queries in ASP.NET uh, Core uh, with the Entity Framework Core and uh, uh, you want to uh, use SQL queries in Entity Framework Core if you uh, less knowledge of Lambda expression as well as the link. So must to use context class if you want to use uh, SQL queries in ASP.NET Core. So here is the lambda. Uh, here is the normal query, uh, or you can say the link uh, lambda expressions. So, if you want to use SQL query, must to as, uh, must to use from SQL method, and in inside a method, you can use parameter as a SQL query. So see, uh, select a start from students, and uh, this uh, query is the similar thing you can uh, do with the uh, lambda expression that is like the to list. Okay. So after that, if you want to get, uh, if you want to use SQL parameters, uh, like the uh, parameters, if you want to use, you want to get uh, ID, uh, you want to get a single record uh, using the where cause. So you can use select start from students where ID equals to. Uh, if if you use that type of pattern, then must to use ID uh, separated uh, with the comma actually but that types if the things is getting an error because the id it's not defined so uh, it's not a uh, actually it's not a uh, um, that type of error it's a conversion error so use to uh, first or default so add it here first or default method okay general thing you want to get uh, know about uh, the uh, lambda expressions as well as the uh, sequels so there is thing but you get an error because id is not defined it here yeah you get an error input string was not in correct format because id is not defined if you use a uh, dollar sign just in front of uh, the double quotations you know that uh, you can see that id uh, in the curly brackets uh, in uh, is automatically as a variable is defined as a variable so you can do this it here yeah another uh, another method you can apply it here at the red symbol also you can define id just after the a double quotation and of the double quotation use comma and id you can define it here okay yeah oops getting an error again because the id property is actually is defined but in the curly brackets id is defined so you can use zero instead of the name of the parameters oops again start it refresh and start uh, actually ASP.NET code is so simple if you want to use SQL queries if you want to use lambda expression you can use uh, uh, link queries and many more things uh, if you uh, know about the things you must to use ASP.NET code because it's too much simple and you can uh, you can uh, apply your ideas actually so uh, if you want to use sql parameters you know uh, in the web forms asp.net web forms so you can apply it here id parameter equals to new sql parameters and sql parameters also available in you know system.data.sql client so id is there and id is passing from the local parameters so add that here but id is not assigned just after the uh, double quotation of so uh, local variable is not defined so getting an error again because just after the double quotation you must to assign the id parameter just then uh, i add the rate of id uh, and comma uh, id parameter also you can use sql parameter sql uh, stored procedure also you can apply it here just use comma and id parameter okay 
that thing is simple just again check it you can use uh, the insert command also execute uh, stored procedure also so there's that thing is easy now after that you can use uh, also use uh, the stored um, stored processor also so just write it execute exec and the stored processor name and also define the parameter just after the double quote for getting the first and default values or you can say the first value or you can say the uh, single column value or sorry single tuple value just write it I must uh, I much comfortable in uh, lambda expression and of entity framework so use it here and uh, if you want to use insert command in uh, with the SQL queries so use uh, the basic thing that is the command text and the insert parameters so you can use it here variable command text equals to insert into table name and the uh, insert into table name table name is students and the column name is name and the values is at the red symbol so you can use SQL parameters okay at the rate of name values at the rate of name and so assign the name uh, with the property so variable name variable parameter equals to new sql parameter at the rate of name and the student dot name student is actually a object so you can get the property so student dot name and use context dot database dot execute command and in the execute command method you can pass command text as well as the parameter so this is type of uh, thing you can use uh, uh, dml queries data manipulation language queries so thank you very much for guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and entity framework core also and uh, please 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 i request you don't forget it uh, please subscribe my channel if you if you learn many more things about asp.net core xamarin and c sharp things so please 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 like this video and subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching this video